Google Gemini just broke the internet with their brand new image editor and generator that is 100% free to everybody right now. By the end of this video, you're going to learn about seven insane use cases that you could use this for, and for each of them, I'm going to compare it to ChatGPT because this tool right here blows ChatGPT out of the water. And personally, I think this is one of the biggest AI updates, and we're going to look back on this and say that's really when everything changed for images. Okay, so in order to actually use this tool, you just have to come to aistudio.google.com, click on Generate Media, and you're now going to see Gemini native image right here, which is brand new. Now, the first use case I wanted to show off is we're going to upload this photo here, and we're going to say, please restore this to color, make it look incredibly realistic. Now, the reason that they're calling this the Photoshop killer is because other apps with images have not been able to do this yet with AI. In fact, if we come over to ChatGPT and we ask ChatGPT to do the same exact thing, we upload this screenshot and we say the same exact thing, we're going to see that not only does ChatGPT take an incredibly long period of time to do this, more likely than not, it's actually going to fail at doing this. So if we come back over here to Gemini, we're going to see that very quickly this goes through and accomplishes the task. As we can see right here, boom, this went through and redid this. In fact, it created two of these for us right here. So we could see right here that this made this incredibly realistic. Look at how good the skin looks, the hair, the color of this denim right here or this jacket. All of this looks amazing, even the dirt on the children's clothes here. And again, this is another one right here, same exact thing. This is incredible. I cannot believe that it's able to do this. And if we come over to ChatGPT, we'll see it is still struggling away trying to get this done. Now, if we look at this, what did this do? Again, like I was saying before, this failed. It tried for like five minutes, and then it says I wasn't able to generate the colorized restoration you requested because this request violates our content policies. Again, I don't know why they can't do that. It's a very simple thing that you would be able to do in Photoshop. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back into Generate Media. I am gonna open up a new window right here, and we're gonna take this screenshot of a thumbnail that I want to have adjusted. I don't know why it didn't actually save, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here. I am gonna grab this right here. We're gonna click on Download. This will open up a new window. I am then going to take a screenshot of this very quickly, and then we could come back over here into AI Studio and upload the correct image here. So we're gonna come over here. We need to get rid of this right here. Again, generate media. And then we come over here, grab the screenshot, put it in here, and then type in this prompt. Change the text from ChatGPT5 to Gemini. Don't change anything else. Now, the reason I want to do this is because obviously I'm creating a new thumbnail. In fact, this is the thumbnail style that I'm going to be using for this video. So I gave this request to Google AI Studio. Now, in the attempt to try to get this done, if we come over here, look at this. I asked ChatGPT the same thing. Seven insane ChatGPT5 use cases. In fact, I asked this a few minutes ago just to try to speed the video up and not have me sit here for half an hour waiting for ChatGPT to do things and said, change the text from ChatGPT5 to Gemini. Don't change anything else about the thumbnail. And this went through and said, I wasn't able to edit the thumbnail because this request violates our content policies. Could you provide me with a new prompt? Again, I don't know why this is violating their policy. This shouldn't violate their policy at all. And if we come over here, we could see instantly this very easily did it and didn't resize anything. Now, again, I don't know why it's saying that this is violating their policy. So if we come over here, I actually did this same exact thing yesterday. So I wanna show you what it actually did. I did it with this thumbnail right here, said, please change this shirt to be bright yellow. Maybe it's because I called it a thumbnail in the prompt or something like that, maybe. But if we come over here, we can see that it messed it up. It did change this to yellow, but it went through and resized the thumbnail and cut off all the text here, which I can't have happening if I'm trying to make a YouTube thumbnail. Now, before I get into the rest of the use cases that are only going to be crazier and crazier, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day, and you're not going to want to miss them. In addition to that, at the description below, I just put a brand new form that you could fill out to have me give you a free personalized AI audit. I want to tell you exactly what tools you should be using and all stuff like that. Again, 100% free. Just check it out at the description. Now, the next use case I wanted to show off is turning things into ads. 
So let's say that we come over here and we are trying to promote these shorts right here. In fact, this is one of my best friend's websites right here. He sells his baseball gear. It's absolutely amazing. So if we come over here into AI Studio, I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna say, turn this into an ad for Labor Day. You can do 50% off. Now, he is not selling these shorts for 50% off. So don't go to his website and think that they're going to be 50% off. But what I'm going to get this to do is actually turn this into an ad that shows 50% off to show you how this could actually look. Look at this right here. Literally, instantly, before I could even get done talking about it, this went through and added Labor Day sale 50% off site-wide. And now, if I wanted to change anything else about it, I could actually come over here. I could download this. And now, we can re-upload this right here. So now we have this download. And we can come over here. Boom. We could upload this in here. Sorry. Click the wrong thing. Grab this. Drag this down here. And we can say, please change the 50% off to be a really bright yellow. Now, what this is gonna do, this is gonna go through, this is going to make that change, and remember, in the past, you would have had to do this in Photoshop, would have taken a really long period of time, or you would have had to send it to a designer, you would have had to send it to somebody else. You don't have to do that anymore. Why? Because this right here literally does this in seconds and makes any edits that you want. Boom, just like that, it changed the font here to be yellow, and now this stands out way more and will be a way better ad. Now, the next thing I wanted to do is actually something that is really, really crazy. So let's come over to Google over here, and we are going to look me up. We're gonna look up Robert Benjamin. Boom, we're gonna come over into images right here, and what I wanna do, we can grab this photo of me and my fiance, we're going to grab this right here, take a screenshot of this. We're then going to upload this over here into here, and we are going to say, change the angle of this photo, do it from above. Now I'm very curious what this is going to do. You know, it's actually pretty funny. I just realized I'm wearing the same exact shirt that I'm wearing right now in this right here, I believe. So this is going to do is change the angle of the photo to be from above. Now that, is pretty cool, but eh, you might be thinking, Rob, let's do something even crazier. We're going to say, change the perspective to be from above. Now what this is going to do is change the entire perspective of this image right here. In fact, if we look at this, we could see that this image was pretty blurry. This went through and made this a lot better right here, which I really like. Now, if we come over here, we could see that this actually failed to generate this content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this image. I'm gonna open this up right here. We could come over here, X out of this, add this back in here, paste. Because again, you will run into some issues like this. And we're gonna say, change their perspective be from above, put a plate of sushi on the table because they are at Hidden. If you don't know what Hidden is, it's a restaurant in Miami. So I'm putting this here. This is then going to change the perspective of this photo. And again, this is one of those things that's really cool. And we're not gonna know what's real and what's fake. Look at this right here. This went through and actually changed the perception of this image, kept the same clothes on us, still looks like us, still even has the red in our eyes. And we could see this added a bunch of sushi here. It generated a table and all of this looks incredibly realistic. Now, I don't know why this came over here and said that it failed because it definitely didn't fail. But again, just a little error that might be showing up here. Now, the next use case that I wanted to show off is how you can get this to add product images into photos. For example, we're gonna look at this photo right here. I just found this necklace that I think is cool, so I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna say, please put the necklace on him. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna take this necklace and this product right here, which I just randomly find K and J doesn't mean anything to me, and this is gonna put this necklace on me right here. And as we can see, this added the necklace in and it didn't really change anything about it. Now, the photo of the necklace is going to change what it actually looks like and how good it looks. So make sure you're using high resolution images. Make sure you show as much of the product as possible. It's as zoomed in as possible and that the model is going to be a good looking photo and you could even tell it how to place it if 
you want something specific. Now, in addition to editing and manipulating things, you could have this just create new things. So I uploaded this photo of me right here, and then if we scroll down, we could see make me happy sitting in a bar that has a fish tank nearby. This went through and put me at a bar with a fish tank. And what's pretty cool is it went through and actually made me look halfway decent based on the clothes that I was wearing in this photo right here. And honestly, I'm really happy with this compared to what other image models do. Now, if we come over into Generate Media and we try something else, for example, let's upload this photo right here. We can say, put blinds on the window and reimagine this room to be fully furnished and a lot more lively. We can actually have this help with things like interior design and seeing how different things would look on something. So if you have a bunch of blinds that you wanna see how it's going to look, or maybe you wanna change the color on your walls, or maybe you wanna change the couch or something, you could have this go through and actually redesign what things will look like based on different changes that you could end up making to the room. And you could use this now as inspiration here. Now this did change the window quite a bit, but the room looks pretty much the same, except for the fact that there's a wall here now. This is still here. So we might want to say, you change this too much. Do the same image slash layout, just with the window, with blinds, slash curtain on it, and the room fully furnished. Now. Let's see if this actually goes through and fixes this. I've never actually double prompted it like this before and got it to rerun something, but what you could have done is come over here and branched it from here, or we could actually click in right here and edit it if it doesn't do it correctly. So it didn't do it the way that we wanted it to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I am going to redo this. So I'm gonna say put blinds on the window and I'm gonna say, uh, make the room fully furnished a lot more lively. Don't change layout or anything else. Now, what we could do from here is rerun it with this prompts right here, and we could see that it's going to rerun up top here and not down at the bottom here. So again, let's see if this does a better job and actually gets us the right way. Perfect. This is literally exactly what I wanted. So look at the difference between this room and this room. And again, the layout's exactly the same, didn't change anything else. It even shows you how light is going to look when it's reflecting here. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you a brand new no-code AI tool that can help you build apps. All you need is an idea. You literally tell it what you want, and instantly, this will go through and build the app of your dreams. I'll see you over there.